so I'm here today with a collaboration that I am doing with three other girls here on YouTube. Um, we found each other just randomly actually and we're deciding to do a collaboration channel soon. But to test it out we decided just to do um, a video together. So we decided to do a Grammys 2013 inspired look. So each one of us chose a different celebrity to do. I am doing Taylor Swift and this is the look as you can see. Um, I did the hair and the makeup. Obviously, um, I don't have bangs like Taylor does, so I just kind of made a middle part, but if you have bangs, that is great. I know you also can buy, like, bang extensions, but meh, I didn't really feel like doing that. But yeah, so the three other girls here on YouTube are doing Rihanna, JLo, Beyonce, and I will we'll link their channels down below as well as insert some pictures where you can click at the end of the video. And so yeah, if you're interested in seeing how I did this look, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I started off with MAC eyeshadow in Patina, and I just lightly put this all over my lid with a small eyeshadow brush, and I just swept it into the crease a little bit. I then brought the color underneath my eye to darken up the look. Then using my MAC eyeshadow in Woodwink, I brought this color onto my lid with the same brush, just the opposite side, but I focused it more towards the outer corner of the eye and up into the crease. I then blended it out to get rid of any harsh edges. Then using my MAC eyeshadow in Naked Lunch, I just brought this into the inner corner of my eye to brighten up the look a little bit. Now taking my MAC eyeshadow in print, I'm going to be putting this onto my upper lash line with an angled brush, sort of making a winged out effect before I put on any gel liner. I'm bringing it underneath the eye to deepen up the look a little bit more, and then I'm going to be blending out the print onto my eyelid, but focusing more into the crease. Now taking my Makeup Forever Gel Eyeliner, I'm going to be applying this on top of the print with my angled brush and making a winged cat eye effect, the same kind of one that Taylor wore to the event. And I just think this look is really pretty. Now taking this Marcel eyebrow pencil, I'm actually going to be using this as a eyeliner and what I'm going to be doing is tight lining my eyes and then kind of filling in any spaces that I missed with the gel eyeliner. I am then going to be applying a white eyeliner to my waterline to open up the eye a little bit and then taking my MAC eyeshadow in Brulee, I'm going to be applying this underneath the brow, right on the brow bone just to highlight it. Then going back in with the woodwind color, I'm going to be pulling this underneath my eye just to darken it up a little bit. I am then filling in my eyebrows with my Benefit Eyebrow Kit in light. And I'm trying to make the same shape that Taylor has, which is a bit more of an arch than I normally do. And then taking my Benefit Their Real Mascara, I'm going to be applying this to my top lashes and bottom lashes and giving it a really nice thick and full look, the same that Taylor does. She normally wears false eyelashes, but I didn't feel like doing that because I'm just doing this for a video. But if you wanted to wear false eyelashes, then just go right ahead. Taylor wasn't really wearing any blush, so I figured this MAC blush called Prism would be perfect because it gives a really subtle look. And 
And then taking my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle, I'm going to be applying this to my cheekbones to highlight them, and then on my eyebrow bone, the bridge of my nose, and to my cupid's bow. Taylor has fuller lips than I do, so a trick I learned is to actually brush your lips because this not only exfoliates them, but it also gives it a much fuller look. I know it looks really weird, but if you were to use a toothbrush over your lips, it does make them really full. Taylor had a really nice nude look on her lips, so I thought this MAC lipstick called Patisserie would be perfect for that. She also had a gloss over top, so I thought this pinkish nude color by MAC would be perfect. Taylor had a really nice braided bohemian updo, so what you want to do for this look is you're going to take a section of your hair just behind your ear and you're going to braid that upwards so that it can be put around your head. I just did one braid because my hair is long enough, but if you want you can do two braids, one from one side and then the second braid from the other side and make them cross over. Then I'm going to be taking the remaining hair that's in front of the braid and I'm going to be French braiding that back, so I'm going to incorporate all the hair until that's on one side of my face into the braid and I'm going to braid that all the way back. I'm then going to be doing the same thing on the other side but I'm going to incorporate the braid into the bigger French braid so that it all comes out together. And then in the back I'm going to be bobby pinning the remaining braids just kind of like into a loop and just being messy with it. It doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to be kind of messy looking and braided so I'm just pinning any pieces back like this. And this is the finished look. Really pretty bohemian updo, I love it, it's so beautiful. That is it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun doing it. I love Taylor Swift. I think she's absolutely beautiful and I love all her music. And yeah, I get a lot of people telling me that I look kind of like her so that's a good thing because she's great and yeah, I'm such a fan. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, favorite it and share it and subscribe for more videos every couple days. And don't forget to check out the girls that I listed down below. I will insert some pictures. They're absolutely beautiful and I love them so much and their looks are just amazing. So if you go go check out their videos and give them a thumbs up and subscribe, that would be great. And I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. Bye!